I'm Chuck Bailey, a geologist at William & Mary, and I'm standing here at the Blue Ridge Tunnel, and I'm joined by my research team, B to the 7th. I'm Lila, they call me TNT. I'm Morgan, they call me Royal Purple. And I'm Graydon, and they call me Rain Man. We're excited to have you with us as we explore the geology of this iconic landmark in the Virginia Blue Ridge. Welcome to Stop One. We're standing here on the edge of the parking lot at the East Trailhead. And behind me is an outcrop of Catoctin Greenstone. On this field trip, we're going to see a great deal of the Catoctin Greenstone, which is what the Blue Ridge Tunnel is bored through. This rock, you can see on some of the uh, fresh surfaces, is actually a bluish green. And originally, this was a basaltic rock that's been metamorphosed and turned into a rock we know as a greenstone with blue-green minerals. The rock also has a very interesting and important structure. And maybe you can see some of the, the structure in this rock. These are planes of aligned minerals. We call this a foliation. And the Catoctin Formation developed a foliation as these rocks were sheared and deformed long ago. And these structures are an important part of the underlying architecture of the Blue Ridge Mountains here. Um, and there's a lot to see at this outcrop. Hello, and welcome to stop two of the Blue Ridge Tunnel Virtual Field Guide. Behind me is an outcrop of the Catoctin Formation. It is a half a billion year old outcrop of greenstone, which was originally uh, basaltic lava flows. Uh, they were metamorphosed, creating new minerals within the basalt, uh, namely chlorite, quartz, and epidote, which we can see exposed here, um, as well as over time, there being uh, structural changes, such as the, the angling downwards of this outcrop. And you can see the cut between the two layers, which is called daylighting, as these could potentially just slide off. Think of a um, piece of paper on top of another at an angle and going off the edge. Do not be on them when they start sliding down. Welcome to the eastern portal of the Blue Ridge Tunnel. This is the location where Claudius Crozet began to tunnel through the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's here, the railroad jogs a little bit, and the tunnel goes 4,400 feet straight underneath Rockfish Gap, cutting primarily through the greenstones of the Catoctin Formation. As we stand in the shadows here, you may notice that the rocks and the rocks here are well foliated, as we've talked about before. They've been sheared, and they're actually quite durable and tough. Actually, cutting through these rocks was a significant engineering challenge that took uh, nearly eight years to bore all the way through the underlying Blue Ridge. This is Stop Tool of the Blue Ridge Tunnel. We're a few hundred feet from the East Portal, and as you can see right here, I'm standing next to the groundwater coming out of this also. And we have the Blue Ridge Flat, which gave the groundwater and even with the first place to come out into the tunnel. Shock 
Wow, thanks so much, Katie. All right, we're now a few steps closer to the West Portal entrance. And as you can see here, the tunnel has now uh, shifted to brickwork. Um, here we have uh, the darker brick, and this brick, some of it's probably around 160 years old and is original to the tunnel. And as you can see here on my left, this piece is a lot newer. And so Jose decided to line this part of the tunnel with bricks because the rock above the tunnel is a lot weaker because it's metasedimentary. Hello, and welcome to the end of your 4,400 foot journey through the Blue Ridge Tunnel. You've exited here on the Western Portal, stop seven of our virtual field guide, and you'll be greeted by this very impressive limestone archway. These are lower Paleozoic limestones with very thick algal laminations, and they're about 100 million years younger than the Catoctin that we've seen throughout the tunnel. They were mined over in the Shenandoah Valley, and uh, they make quite a nice impression. Something you will also see at Stop 7 and with the Western Portal are further extensions of the Catoctin Formation, which we've seen throughout. But these are 20 million years younger than what we've seen on the other side, showing that we've reached a higher stratigraphic section of the Catoctin Formation. Welcome to Stop 8. This is your last stop in the Blue Ridge Tunnel Tour. And I am leaning on a piece of diabase. And diabase is a dark igneous rock. And this diabase is actually part of the youngest rocks in the Blue Ridge. And we know this because it has not gone through any deformation. The Catoctin Formation was deposited, deformed, and went, underwent some metamorphism, where this diabase was a part of an igneous dike that cut through the Catoctin Formation. Another cool fact about this diabase is it's kind of got a spherical shape. And that's because it's undergone spheroidal weathering. Hi friends. We hope you've enjoyed this virtual geologic tour of the Blue Ridge Tunnel. It's a fabulous place to learn about the structure and geology of the Blue Ridge. And if you're interested in learning more, please check out the William Mary Geology website. Remember to pink your feldspars!